What hole were we on? I think this is six. How many punch shots have you had? Six. Texas wind Honestly, you come to Muni for like, don't don't try and grind here. Like if you're gonna try and grind, you're not gonna have a good time out here. I think there, there are a lot of places to play golf uh, here in Austin, but um, this kind of seems to be like the melting pot of, of golf in Central Texas. Hell yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'd always heard so much about Save Muni, Save Muni. And it, uh, but I didn't know what it looked like or you know, to kind of put a face to a name now. Uh, it was awesome. It was wow. fantastic. I mean, it had everything you could ever imagine in, in the golf course. Um, and all the municipal vibes were peak, peak yeah. stuff. It's a little bit, it's funky. It's, it's probably its best at like, send your buddies a text at two in the afternoon. Hey, who wants to go play at four o'clock? Come play nine holes here, come try and fit in as many holes as you can, kind of at the end of the day. I think Muni is doing a really good job at getting um, a whole new uh, crowd of people into golf. You know, it's one of my favorite places to play. When you kind of zoom out and you look at golf in Central Texas as a whole, I think there are a lot of country club rats that Beautiful. would still happily come out here and spend a Saturday hitting the ball with their friends. And I think I think finding a course that kind of lives in that sweet spot is um, is really tricky to find, especially in, in golf today. Oh, it's spectacular, man. PC in its natural habitat amidst the creation of infrastructure. Building infrastructure, baby. I think Muni nailed it. And the cool thing is, it, 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 this isn't a new thing, right? Muni's been around for a long time, and I think that's kind of why it's, it's survived for so long, is because Aww. that's the kind of environment you can expect when you come out here. From the moment you check in, very rarely do you make it from your car to the tee box without someone saying hi, or you know, some smiling at you, and it's all about the people. 100% it's just about the people that run it, it's about the people that come here. Uh, I think I think golf could learn a lot from uni, so. TC after a bomb, 300 yards through a puddle. Give me a break. Right at it. Hey, birdie putt. consistent wall to wall. Um, the greens were like totally slow, but it was awesome. They were, they were great. Though. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Stay up. Go. Good job. Yeah. You drive around, like even in this neighborhood, you'll see Save Muni signs everywhere. There's hats everywhere. Like the people that live in this area, the people that live in the city want to keep it. They have, the Invitational, which is a tournament that happens the cricket. out here. Yeah, yeah. Cricket, yeah, cricket yeah. sponsors it. They do it. They do the whole thing. They do the tournament out here. It looks super fun. And then they have a whole like dinner, dinner party and stuff. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that didn't happen last year. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to do some smaller version of it this year. I moved here in 2017 and everybody was like, you have to go play Muni, it's gonna close in a month. And it's now March of 2021 and it's still here. So like, thankfully they've managed to kind of, quote unquote, stop the bulldozers. But it's just like, it's gonna be chipping and chipping and chipping away at getting that money figured out unless somebody like. At some point somebody needs to come up and like hit a driver and say, it's yeah. like chipping. It's like, it's like, hey Elon, how do you feel about municipal golf? <laughs> 
can you throw a couple Bitcoin our way? <laughs> The Texas Hill Country vibes out there. Like, there is some you know visual deception out there, yeah. for lack of a better term, Golden Age architecture, kind of throughout the the, the golf course. Um, three in particular off the tee, it looks wide open, but um, you have a little of that visual deception with some mounding to get you there. You know, there, there are definitely some tricky green complexes here, or so you really have to, you know, be pretty surgical with your shots. You can't just come out here and. and close your eyes and hit the ball and expect to, to score good. And that's what kind of makes it fun. I'm gonna try the lefty. Bye, Larry. Yeah. Will the cut transition to lefty? No way. Such a good <laughs> what? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Favorite hole out here. Ooh, that's a tough one. Probably five or six, because okay. five or six are, are two really good holes where it's like, you can tell on a lot of holes on this course that it's like technology is kind of overtaking them. But five and six, you can kind of still see, okay, hey, put a 200 yard drive in my hand, you're gonna be in a perfect spot to hit like a long iron. And then nowadays it's like, oh cool, I can hit a driver like further. I can just go straight over the tree right at the green and be like, oh cool, I got a chip shot. That could either be that could really, either be really good yeah. or it was hammered, but completely dead. Yeah. Ah, oh, too strong. I mean, that was pretty good. What a wonderful place. It's like evocative of. of kind of lost in, in a nutshell. All right, and the, the support throughout the town, I mean, you see Save Muni signs everywhere if you keep your eyes open. So it's cool to see that the town is, is really efforting this place to stay what it is, maybe touch it up a little bit and continue to be a, a green space um, in the middle of like an absolutely beautiful neighborhood. Probably my favorite place in town is Butler Pitch and Putt, which is five minutes away from here. They closed a year ago to completely renovate it and so they're supposed to be opening in a month. First word that comes to mind, Butler Pitch and Butt. First word that comes to mind, Butler Pitch and Goals. Hashtag goals. City golf, man. Yeah. You know? Uh, shit, I'd go out there and have a beer and not even bring my sticks. It seems like they're trying to trying to keep the soul of these places, like touch them up a little bit but keep the soul of the places like that place is gonna be mint. The grass choices that they have out there, like for this guy, it, it couldn't have been better. They were smart, they were educated, they got stuff that's, you know, traffic tolerant, heat tolerant, doesn't take a lot of water, right? They did the right stuff, it, but it's it's gonna be slightly unique, right? It's not what a lot of people are used to. It's not bed grass, it's not Bermuda, it's, it's something a little bit different. What is it? Um, so it's Trinity Zoysia. It's, okay. it's what they created at Blade Runner here in Texas um, to create Trinity Forest Golf Club. Those greens, if they want them to, they can roll 14 out there. So like, it's really, really, really intriguing. I think a lot of courses, especially in this area, and you know, kind of south, southeast, uh, Midwest, would learn a lot from checking that place out. Ben was like a kid in a candy store out oh, there. Oh gosh. <laughs> it was like it, that was it. Middle of the city, you know, 10 acres of green space, Unreal, Crenshaw, you know, slopey, fun, unique greens um, with real golf shots out there too. Hancock, what a treat that was. Like I, the, the most approachable golf experience you could ever have. You walk up and you pay at a parking meter that they transformed into a pretty much your pro shop. Like absolutely unreal. Grab your dog, grab your bag. Nothing crazy. Conditions were, I, I thought they were gonna be way worse than what they were. I mean, the place was kind of mixed. Overseas would ride. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool greens on these little shelves and stuff. Yeah, I wanted overlooking the UT campus. I mean, it was really, really cool. It's something I've not had the experience to see before. Austin Municipal Golf Scene is dialed. It's sick. Uh, very excited to come back and, and experience more of it. So, it's sick. Sweet.